To all my queer friends watching this right now, are you renting a place at the moment? If you are, you're probably victim to the skyrocketing rental prices now. Do you realise that the monthly rental you're paying is actually helping your landlord to pay for their property? You get nothing at the end. So why not? Buy one for yourself. Okay, I get it. We all want to be independent and have privacy. It is the dream of everyone entering adulthood to have your own space. But a dream, if not planned out properly, will become a nightmare. Imagine at the age of 50s or 60s, the huge amount of money you had put into rental could have gotten you a very nice home for your retirement. One that could have appreciated in value over time and a safety net for you when you're older. Now watch this carefully because this is going to affect your life. Let's take an example of an LGBTQ plus person at age 35, renting $1,500 monthly, having a single room by yourself. After 15 years, at age of 50, you would have spent $270,000 just on the rental alone. And during this point of time, your landlord have earned more than $1 million. Yes, because the amount that you and your other tenants have given to him have not only helped him pay for his mortgage, but have now appreciated almost fourfolds or even more. And by then, when he sells his house, profiting a good 50% or more from the original price that he bought for the house, that you have painstakingly decorated with, you're left home hunting again and not being able to retire. Or even worse, you could be homeless on the street. Now, if you think you're really happy now and living in a nice rental apartment, feeling that you have made it into adulthood, please think again. I'm quite enjoying now to suffer later. I have met and served many clients from the LGBTQ community and I'm very happy to have helped many lucky ones become proud homeowners with a clear plan for the future. But very sadly, there are a lot who did not plan or save enough cash before they met me, and they fall into this homeless trap. They're not able to pay for that down payment for the unit that they want, so they end up having to go for a smaller and older option, or some even have to remain in the rental for a long term. So please do quickly consider saving up into purchasing your own home. You can party, enjoy your life, and do crazy things, but don't neglect saving up for your own home. Because at the end, the housing policies are not in our favour, and we are playing a catching up game with the straight friends. So don't end up without a home when you're in your silver years, and that's where we don't want to go. Of course, on a good note, it is not impossible to own your own place in Singapore. We are all entitled to have a home here in Singapore. Start living the real dream by owning your own home that you'll be proud of. If you like what you've heard so far, do like, follow and share. My next content will be out very shortly. I hope to see you there again. Hi, I'm William from William Tan Real Estate, celebrating diversity and inclusion in home ownership for everyone.